hello everyone welcome back to my vlogs today i'm gonna actually be doing a nighttime routine vlog um i was thinking about doing like a weekly vlog this week but i don't know i can't decide when it comes to vlogs so i decided like was writing down what i wanted to show you guys and i kind of wanted to go through it's the end of the day um, I wanted to go through kind of like really just letting you know what we did today and then go through my nighttime routine um, because it's a pretty simple day here. It's nice and sunny out, pretty warm. It's getting warmer here in Philadelphia. Um, so yeah, I wrote down some stuff. We took Willow to the vet. Willow, come. Can you see her head right there? Come here. <laughs> anyway, we took her to the vet today because she's been having some stomach problems. I don't know if you guys have been here at the, on Instagram through all, all the stomach issues. Here she is. Hi, come here. Come say hi to the vlog. She's been having stomach issues for a while. She's kind of known um, to have these. Sorry, I'm moving the camera a lot. She's been known, or like her breed, being a Great Dane, um, they're known to have stomach issues. Um, so every now and then she wakes us up at like 3 in the morning. Um, which she never does unless it's for this like usually she sleeps through the night. She's great um, But she wakes up and we know that means she's gonna have diarrhea. and It's super fun Willa, what are you doing? Anyway, so we took her to the vet and really nothing is wrong um, Could have been something she ate could have been something at daycare, which is honestly kind of annoying Like I don't want anything to be wrong with her, but you know, there's like no reason so it kind of sucks that there's Nothing for us to look out for for next time um, so anyway, she's fine, um, and we're getting her some probiotics to help with her stomach. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys right now. I wrote down the week of basically what I have to do. And over here is my YouTube for, I wrote two YouTubes for this week, Nighttime Routine and Favorite Jeans. Um, I don't know if the jeans will be up by the time this is up. So basically I'm gonna show you guys my actual nighttime routine. So this is like skincare, um, you know, going to bed, like when I drink hot water, like stuff like that, like actual bedtime. And then I'm gonna do a little unboxing of some stuff that I got. Um, there's not a lot, but I just wanna show you guys some new cool things that I'm excited for. Um, probably cook dinner tonight. She always does this. She drops her ball on purpose so that I have to pick it up and give it to her. Okay, don't drop it again. She's like this big baby who's 75 pounds and she just still has puppy energy and everything. Willow. Okay. All right, we're gonna go do an unboxing. Okay, don't lick it, don't lick it. All right, I'm gonna do an unboxing. Willow obviously wants to join. What is that? Okay, she gets distracted really easily, but so I don't know if you guys have seen these shoes, which they're in another room. I'll put a picture of them here. They're the Nike Air Jordan high tops, um, and I just fell in love with them. I wanted like the blue. No, leave it. Anyway, they're um, the dark blue, as you can see in the picture, and I fell in love and had to order another pair. Of course. So I ordered another pair and I just want to show you guys what it is and I'm so excited about it. Same thing. Here we go. I just feel like through the summer, I'm so excited to wear them and winter, obviously, but since that's over and we're on to summer. So the first pair of Air Jordans I bought off Poshmark. So I bought off of somebody who kind of just like a sneaker person who sells a bunch of sneakers. Um, these ones I actually got off Farfetch. And these were the green. I'm gonna put my inspo picture. I think I saw Hilly Bieber wearing these and I was like, holy shit, I need them. Um, I got a size eight and a half. And I'm gonna try and style them soon. If I do by the time this video is up, which I don't know if I will, I'll put a picture of how I do, but I'm how I do style it. But honestly, I'm trying to recreate that Hilly Bieber look with like in this picture, like her cargo pants, these. It's just so boyish and cute, and I love it. Um, and I'm such a like I just feel like I love the boyish dressing like I just like to dress like that um, So yeah, that's these I think I put a little TikTok up here of unboxing them too or I put a TikTok slash reel up um, But I bought these off Farfetch. I can try and leave a link if they have them um, I don't know if they still do but they did have like other colors and I honestly thought these would be sold out in like an instant um, But they're not and they're so comfortable. I got eight and a half and that fits me absolutely perfectly So I would say if you are looking for them size True to size, so don't size up or size down. Um, the ones I got off of somebody were an eight and they were a little bit, they're a little bit snug on me. Um, still obviously gonna wear them. Still obviously gonna wear them, but eight and a half was definitely better. 
Hey. Okay. Willow obviously loves clothing too. And then the other one I wanted to show you guys, which you've already seen me post, and I'll put a picture up here, but it is the Prada. Little unboxing for you here. I already did it, obviously, but so I got these loafers. And let me just say that these are actually more comfortable than I thought they were gonna be. Um, I got a size, let me see, did I get an eight or eight and a half? Does it say in there? 38, I think it's an eight and a half. It's the 38 and a half, like Euro sizes. So um, they're pretty comfortable and I get like, actually the socks I'm wearing now, these socks are from H&M. So I got these in white and black. They're like pretty thin um, and you can scrunch them down and stuff. So I feel like they looked really cute with these. Um, and I'm honestly like, oh my God, I'm so bad at like getting, I'm so bad at being like on trend, like not being on trend, but like, Sometimes when they come out, I'm like, oh my god, I'm not gonna get this. Like, I don't really like it. I always am like, oh, I'm not gonna buy it. And then I see them styled, and I, I typically don't, but there are certain ones that I do. So I found these styled, and I just was like, these are gonna be so cute for the summer. Um, and going into like winter too, I just feel like they're very versatile in terms of season. So that is why I decided to make the purchase. Um, for the shoes, I do that as well. So like, I think people always ask me like, what do you spend? Do you spend a lot of money on clothes? And my answer is no, unless it's shoes or bags, but pretty much just shoes and like denim, some denim, but shoes is my number one that I like really spend any money on. Um, and that's because I just think that they're the ones that are gonna be in the longest and on trend, so that's why I do that. What? What do you want? Every time Pat leaves or like is in here, she gets so like anxious and upset. Okay, that's it for now. Let me get everything out. What? I don't know. Okay, it's actually the next day because I forgot to vlog. I didn't end up vlogging that night, but. um. All right, let me get, let me tell you what else to get out. We're gonna make it in an Instapot. <sighs> Where is it? Okay, get out that, with that garlic and tomatoes. We're gonna use the other fake meat. Um, two celery stalks, two stalks of celery, uh, a pepper. Instead of like sausage and chicken, which we're supposed to use, we're using tempeh, which we've actually used before a bunch of times. And then those we like, those are like good breakfast sausages. It's not focusing on them, but it's fine. It's called, it's called. Apple and maple plant-based breakfast sausages. But it's Field, Field roast. roast is the brand. We actually, these are the ones that we liked, right? I think so. Yeah. All right, Pat's gonna start chopping. Okay, are you done? Are you finished? Cheater Um, yeah. We're giving Willow, she's on like medicine right now because her stomach is kind of messed up. So we're giving her like, I don't even know. One's for her skin and one's like a probiotic for her stomach. But. Skinny girl. It's just skinny girl. Yeah. All right, well, Pat's chopping up onion, celery, garlic. We're gonna throw the onion and garlic and olive oil into the Instapot. I feel like jambalaya is like our go-to. That and chili. Okay, so we have onion, celery, garlic, and we're gonna put a pepper in here. Basically just sauteing it on the Instapot. Um, for now, and then we'll cook the like fake meat yeah, on the stove. Okay, Pat is over there cooking meat. Mm -hmm. Fake meat. Willa, you're not doing anything except for being in the way because you're so big. Begging. You're just begging and eating scraps, which trying not to let her do that because she has an insanely bad stomach. Okay, just added in instead of chicken stock vegetable stock because we don't eat meat so it should have like the same effect though all right meats in, rice is in all the veggies um, I used crushed tomatoes instead of diced but it should be the same I used also brown rice instead of white which I don't know if that's gonna cook because you put it in uncooked and then like the pressure cooker is supposed to cook it but we'll see I'm gonna do how I take my makeup off for the day I don't know this is like gonna be kind of hard to do right here anyway 
So I have all my makeup on and stuff for the day because we shopped today. I actually met up with my friend Kelsey at Longwood Gardens um, and did a little shooting. So this is like, what day did I wash my hair? I think this is the third day. So I'll probably wash it tomorrow. Um, and I on the third day, I usually put, I wear it like this. So I use like, this is what I use to sleek my hair back. I actually either use this or the Way. So I either use Way Finishing Cream or I use a L'Oreal Sleek It Frizz Vanishing Cream. This one holds a little bit more. This one's more just for like finishing, like what it's called. Um, so when I do that, um, it's easier to take my makeup off before I take my hair out. So I'm gonna start with micellar cleansing water. You guys, have pr I feel like most of you probably use this. There's so many different ones. Um, this is all in one and this is the non-oil. I hate when my face is oily, so turning the water on to get it warm because I'm going to wash my face. I'm going to take a cotton round. I honestly hate how they're called cotton rounds. It's just like, I don't like it. So I have my little cotton thing and I just put all of it on there. Do it over the sink. Just start going at it. I feel like this really takes my makeup off. And I don't wear a ton of makeup. Um, the only thing I, I hate taking off is mascara, which I'm doing right now. But I just like kind of gently rub. I don't know. Sometimes I go extra hard. Also, we didn't eat dinner yet. It's still cooking. The brown rice is taking like extra long. Majority of it off. I'm going to use this face cleanser um, by First Aid Beauty. It's just the pure skin face cleanser. I use this every night or I use this to take my makeup off. I feel like I just like how it blends in. I'm gonna rub my eyes really quick, so. It just kind of like forms like a jelly cleanser, which I really like. Okay, see how red my eyes get and watery? I feel like I don't know how to take my makeup off the right way with when I wear mascara because I get so much, um, like mascara, leftover makeup in my eyes. It makes me clogged up. It makes my eyes burn. I'm trying to be like gentle with my eyes, but okay. So I'll just use the leftover to take the rest of my makeup off. These Billy Wonder Wipes. These are makeup remover, but also they're basically just micellar water. Or, okay, not micellar water. They're basically just hyaluronic acid um, to hydrate. So I'll use it when I'm wearing more makeup so that it takes off the excess makeup. Like it's clean. And I already washed my face and took my makeup off, but you'll see how much still comes off like already. You can see, there it is. That's like all makeup that's still on your face. You don't realize after you wash your face that there's more. So um, this feels so good and refreshing. And I feel like it just kind of makes my face like extra clean. I'll use it on my neck. Um, it feels really good. Okay, skin, harder than skin. This is basically what we have. That's more like hair and makeup. Um, this is skin and that's also like more hair down there. I don't really like the organization shelf idea I would probably do it differently if I was able to have my own House at some point. So I'm gonna take this first and this is the oaken fort Oh, no, this is so I just love this type of spray bottle. It sprays a mist instead of like squirting it out So I have rose water in here. Um, I actually poured it into this empty bottle when I ran out just goes on so nicely and mist, it's refreshing, feels really good and it's just rose water so it's just kind of like to prep your skin for all the other skincare that you're gonna do. At nighttime, I'm using Ultra Repair Hydrating Toner. It's the oat toner from First Aid Beauty. Um, love this stuff, I've been going through it like crazy. Just rub it on my skin. It has oat milk in it which is just super hydrating for your skin. And like as a toner, I feel like that's like the most hydrating step for me in my skincare. Um, what is it else? What else does it have? It's just very soothing and nourishing um, and it has propolis extract, honey, and hyaluronic acid. I'm putting a lot of hyaluronic acid on my face. Okay, today I kind of switched back and forth and I'm gonna use this Beauty Counter All Bright C Serum for my C Serum, which goes after your toner. Comes out yellow. Not for fun, it's like naturally like that. All Beauty Counter, actually every product from Beauty Counter is organic. So I really like it. So um, I don't use all organic skin products, obviously, but First Aid Beauty and Beauty Counter actually are, which I like. And if you go rate them on that like 
forget what that website is called, but it'll give you like a number based on the skin. And like the lower the number, the better it is for your skin. I'm gonna take um, Dark Spot Serum from First Aid Beauty. And sometimes I just do like a few drops. I have dark spots, I feel like on my cheeks, so that's where I put it the most, and my nose. But it doesn't hurt to just rub it all over. You can already see how like shiny I'm getting. So hydrated. For eyes, I'm gonna use this Black Tea Fresh Beauty Firming Eye Serum. I switch back between First Aid Beauty in the morning. I use Claudalie or First Aid Beauty or Tula. Love the Tula one for the morning. It's like a brightening serum. Black tea is really good for your under eyes and I have, you can't, you can kind of see like the lines. I have pretty like big bags under my eyes. Lately I've been using Claudalie, um, that's how you say it, Claudalie, Claudalie, yeah. Brightening moisturizer. It smells amazing. A little bit. And it goes right on. This one's a little bit heavier so I use it at nighttime. I like to use something lighter in the morning. Don't really want anything like heavy on my face during the day but at night like pile that shit on. I'm not gonna use oil because it's pretty moist out. Ooh, okay. I should pretend I didn't say that. It's pretty, the moisture in the air since it was like 85 degrees today is pretty great. So I don't need extra oil. This is the Grande Brow Enhancing Serum. Basically, I've been using, using this to grow my brow hairs and I have seen a difference, not as much as I want but I also don't know if I'm using enough. I just do it over here. You can see where like my eyebrows are spacey and at the bottom and I just want them to grow. It's like the Grande Lash, but for your brows. And I'll take the Ilia Lip Mask, Wrap Mask. That's it for skin for tonight. I'll usually sometimes use the um, number two bronzing face drops by Lux Unfiltered. This is Savans stuff, which I have a whole tanning video on this. Um, I'll use like up to eight drops now. I'm not gonna do it tonight just because I don't think I need it for tomorrow. Basically, it's so I'm gonna take my hair. Ooh, stay with me. A lot of bobby pins in. It's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna take it out. Take one more. I usually do like four, up to four bobby pins. Now, <laughs> okay. Since I need to wash my hair tomorrow, it's just kind of a little bit like. Gross and greasy. Um, it's a headband that you guys actually all have been loving and asking for. It's from Zara, but it's a few years old, so I don't have a link for it or anything. But I think you can find a similar one. I just put it in my hair during the night, and it's just kind of cute. Like it'll just keep it until I go to bed. So, all right, I'm gonna go eat. Probably watch a little bit of Handmaid's Tale because that came out um, today. The Three episodes of season four i think so i'm gonna watch that and then i'll do the rest of my nighttime routine which is basically just brush my teeth and go to bed later okay well the rice took super long to cook because it was brown i'm only having a little serving but this is how it turned out pat said that he liked it adding hot sauce Tempeh good? I don't like usually like plain. Yeah. It's good. It's really hot. Oh. Okay, so Pat is taking Willow out and I'm gonna go get into bed, but I always have blow out all of our candles because I light so many candles um, throughout the apartment. Just to give me a good zen, you know, before bed. Because I need it every single day. Oh my god, I lit so many today. I got my lemon water that I didn't finish. Two uh, magnesiums before bed, so I always take two of these. I think they just help, like, um, they're really gentle on the stomach. They kind of help, like, with my digestion. Um, and then in the mornings, I take um, a Sakara Complete Probiotic Formula, this one. And that's just a, basically like a probiotic that I take. And then always winged, well not always, most nights, winged Sleepy Gummies, which I can show you that as well. Turn the lights off. It's like our air conditioning isn't on yet. Um, I don't know why, because it was so warm today. It was like 85 degrees, which kind of just 
like I need air I need to be like cold when I sleep I hate being hot when I sleep no matter what time of year it is although I hate the winter but I hate being cold when I sleep so getting my bedside table stuff ready to go just gonna basically go to bed so I'm just gonna brush my teeth get into bed and probably finish watching I didn't even I were watching the killing on Netflix um, oh no it's on prime but I'm gonna start Handmaid's Tale, but Pat never watched Handmaid's Tale with me because I started it before we lived together, um, since it was like a few years old now. Our little window things go down. Okay. So I'll probably watch a little bit of that, set my alarm for 7.50, and then go to bed. All right, that is it for the vlog. See you guys next time. Bye.